Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Erin. Guys, as you can see, out and about uh, walking the dog. Hope you like the new intro music. Um, also, guys, if you've just found Glasgow Rangers Nation and you haven't yet done it, please hit that sub button, ring that notification bell and give this video a like. Guys, don't usually record like as usually record in a studio with proper equipment, but as I am out and about and I've seen something to report on, it's getting late. Wanted to get the news out to you, as always. 100% committed to bringing you the very latest news to do with Glasgow Rangers. Take like the new baseball cap as well. All good, right? All good. So let's talk about this young man here in the photo here. He is 26 year old, six foot three centre forward, Sam Lammers. Sam Lammers, who is currently with Atalanta in Italy, but spent last season on loan at Sampdoria. Someone who Eric Ten Hag, Manchester United manager, has previously spoken very positively about. He's a big centre forward, tall, big guy, out and out centre forward, doesn't really play any other positions. Um, he is linked with a three million pound move to Rangers. This obviously comes on top of the news tonight that the initial bid for Cyril Dessers from Cremonese has been rejected by Cremonese. They're looking for something closer to four and a half, five mil. Rangers bid three million. So anyway, let's talk about Lammers. Lammers is a centre forward who has really, really struggled in the last few years to do what centre forwards are supposed to do, which is find the back of the net. He is, I think, very much a reclamation project for Rangers if the deal goes through. Now, according to a number of sources, Team Talk, The Daily Record, uh, Glasgow Times, Ibrox News, this is Ibrox, etc. Uh, a lot of people reporting that the deal is very close to being done for Sam Lammers. Um, he is, like I said, he played at Sampdoria, who were relegated last season from Serie A. It does seem that Rangers do have a strange fascination with players who were relegated from Serie A last season. Um, as you can see there, Lammers started his career at PSV Eindhoven. Uh, did very well for young PSV, scoring 30 goals in 63 appearances. Only four goals in 20 appearances for PSV before going out to Herenveen on loan, where he scored 16 in 31. Atalanta, he has been there since 2020. has only made 17 appearances for his parent club, uh, scoring two goals. He was uh, um, also on loan at Eintracht Frankfurt and was an unused sub in the Europa League final that many of us try to forget in 21-22. Well, we celebrate the fact we got there, but try to forget the overall outcome, uh, where he scored one goal in 15 appearances. Uh, Empoli, he was on loan there between 22 and 23. 14 appearances, one goal, before moving across to Sampdoria, where he had 11 appearances, one goal. Um, it's fair to say that Lammers has really, really struggled uh, with only six goals in his last 67 appearances. And obviously, if you look back to 2020, that's five goals in the last three years. Not really the best of form. Many people feel that uh, if Lammers comes to Ibrox, he will be the sort of player that will be, like I said, a reclamation. Sorry about that. My dog is yanking me around. Uh, he will be a reclamation project for the club. Now, I'm going to be... I'm going to... Look... You know me, guys. You know that I'm a diehard Rangers fan. You know that I love Rangers. Uh, you know that uh, the club means an awful lot to me. It means an awful lot to Victoria as well. But and I try to be positive about everything the club do, and I try to support the club. And I know, I get it. We, you know, in Beale, we trust, and we do trust Michael Beale. You know, the signings that he's made so far, the ones that have actually played, Raskin and Cantwell have been superb. Sterling, Butland, and Dow certainly not very good acquisitions. But, but. I am really reserving judgment on this guy. He really does seem to be a pretty average player. Um, you know, to be able to have said that, you know, if he hadn't struggled so much, we wouldn't be getting him so cheap. He would be a forward that was worth a lot of money, given his previous career, going back in time. Uh, goals he scored, obviously, at PSV um, and at Herenveen, for example, in the Dutch league. But that is a fair way back uh, when he was younger. Now, obviously, he's not really replicated that in the last few years and has been poor to say the least. It's like five goals in the last three years, six goals in his last 67 appearances. This is not prolific. This is not the type of striker that we need at the club. We need a striker that's going to come in, who's going to score 25 to 30 goals a season for us, that's going to have us contending and really smashing that lot from across the city. To me, Lammers just doesn't seem that player. Look, I might be wrong and I would love to be wrong. I'd love us to sign him and him to score 25, 30 goals next season. But the question you always got to ask when you buy players is this. Is, are they any better than what we've already got? So is he better than Antonio Cholak? Is he better than Kmar Roof? Now, I know Kmar Roof is out injured a lot. Theoretically, is he any better than Alfredo Morelos, who's just left? <laughs> Would you rather use that three million that we're going to spend on him to keep Alfie? 
that's a question. Look, I'm not sold on this at all. I'm going to do some more research into it. I just wanted to bring you the news. I've seen it so far. I'm going to do a bit more research into him, but really I'm not sold on this guy at all. Like I said, please let me know what you think in the comments of this possible signing of Sam Lammers. Um, like I said, six goals in 67, five goals in his last three years. So the video is not the usual standard, guys, but I just wanted to bring you the video as I'm out walking the dog at the moment. It's uh, been a very, very busy day today. Thank you for watching. We're about to speak to you again as soon as possible on the channel. We are back in the morning, obviously, with a daily news video. And then Sunday, we have the Q&A podcast, myself and Victoria, answering your questions. Remember, guys, we are the people. Mm -hmm.